tape. Um, and I want to give, give credit to, to Coach Miller. Um, they were very well prepared. Uh, they coming off of a tough stretch in terms of results, and they really responded and played really good basketball tonight. So the, the first off, the credit goes to them. I, I thought Oliveri was incredible behind the line. I mean, he goes six for eight. He has 27. Uh, we, we obviously were watching when he, we went off in the last game, so we, we were aware of it on the scouting report. We did not do a very good job defending him. Um, you know, McKnight going two for four from three, that hurt us quite a bit because, you know, I think he made two on the year coming into the game. Uh, so we had him as a driver, and we were playing off of him and going under him a little bit. And he made he made two of them, and they were both pretty big shots. So, you know, credit to that kid, 39 minutes. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. And um, those two shots from behind the line were really impactful. Uh, you know, gosh, it was uh, – they were pretty good. Uh, that said, I, I really like my team. Um, you know, I, we haven't been in an environment like this. This year, we're going to be in plenty up in the Big 12, but we haven't been tested like this yet. And at times, we didn't handle it really well. Uh, I thought our, we competed. I thought we played with great passion. I'm proud of that. Uh, that's part of putting on the jersey, so it's to be expected. Uh, but they, they did do that. Um, but we got uncharacteristic at times. Some silly fouls that put us not only in foul trouble, but, but put them on the line. Uh, you know, some, some shots and some things that we haven't been taken in practice or in games just because of probably the environment, the moment. And sometimes you can want it too bad. I can tell you as a coach, we want to win. It's been so damn long since Cincinnati won over here, and I feel it. And we want it, and our team wants it. And these, these guys on our roster that's been here for multiple years, they want it. And, you know, maybe we want it too bad type of thing. But uh, you look down at, at our performances, I, I, thought, I thought John Newman played one of his best games as a Bearcat. He was phenomenal. And, uh, you know, he, he had Claude for most of the game, who I think is a terrific player. And I thought he did a heck of a job there. Um, I wish I could have had him guard Claude and Oliver, but somebody else on our team is going to have to be able to step up and, and defend the wing. Um, but I thought John was unbelievable. I, I thought Dede and Jizzle were both great. But Jizzle gets him, I mean, Dede gets himself in foul trouble, and that, that really hurt us because I thought he presented some problems kind of getting downhill. Uh, you know, both teams were really getting out and running in transition. I thought we had some good moments there. I thought they had some good moments there, and we want to play that way. I thought early on we were slow to the ball. Uh, they, they got us on the glass, and I thought we kind of, you know, responded a little bit. And I, I certainly liked this coming out of halftime. But, um, it, guys, it, I, it's going to be – I said this to the guys in the locker room. It's going to be hard. I mean, C.J. Frederick, Dan Skillings, and Seamus Lukosius, I mean, it's going to be hard to win if they shoot it like that. And, and they're both, they're all three, we believe in them. You know, everybody's gonna have nights, but they have all three of them. And I thought we had some really good looks in the first time. We, we sat there in the locker room, and we weren't pleased with how we played at halftime, but you're going to three of those wide open threes go in, you're probably feeling a little different. So we need those guys to shoot a little better. Uh, but all that said, some good stuff. I, 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 I'm, I, I really like my team. I think we got a chance to be really good. We'll learn from this. Uh, but some silly stuff, too. But always hats off to, to Xavier and, and, and Sean did a heck of a job getting this team prepared for us. Questions for John Jizzle. John, it's your last shootout. Uh, you didn't get to play last year. You had three good performances in the first of the season. Um, it's not the end of the world, but if you, are you disappointed? How disappointed? Uh, uh, yeah, it's definitely disappointing. You know, you, you do all the work, and uh, I believe we were prepared to win. I think our coaches did a good job of preparing us. Uh, I mean, we talked about this in the locker room, but one thing I'm going to do is go home and just, you know, think about what I could have did better. Uh, I think I got to be better down the stretch, like more focused. And um, kind of like he said, sometimes you want it too much, or you're just like lost in the moment. But. Um, <coughs> I'd say from my perspective, I just, I just know what I have to do. I know I have to be better. And uh, I know as a team, we'll get better. We have great guys, great group. We want to be great. So we're going to do everything that it takes. Um, but I'm going uh, I'm to take my part in the blame and just say I have to be better going forward. John, how fr over here. John, how frustrating is it when it just seems like the shots aren't falling and then you have to try to make adjustments? And then what 
of the most important adjustments do you try to make during a game like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating, but it's a part of sports. You know, uh, things are always going to go your way. You just have to, uh, you know, trust in your coaches, trust in the game plan, and be able to adjust. Um, I think we did a good job at adjusting um, down the stretch. Things that, um, the changes that we made, I feel like were good changes. And, um, you know, as far as as far as far them getting shots and executing, they played, like, like Coach West said, they played a great game. Um, but we just kind of got to go back to the drawing board and look at ourselves in the mirror and see what we can do better as individuals. And I think that'll flow over to us being the collective of the team. Brian and Marshall. Jizzle over here. 19 points today. How does an environment and playing like this and this type of atmosphere help with your continued progression and growth as the season wears on? Um, it just shows like I can play in these type of games, um, but also me. Ultimately, I just, at the end of the day, I still want to get the win. So I'm still like not as high on that. So it's all about really getting the win and like doing whatever the team needs me to do. So I don't really think about how much points I'm getting or something. I just play the game and if my opportunity comes, it comes. And it came tonight and I was able to make some plays, but we didn't get the job done. So it's still like more work to do and there's ways to go. Jizzle kind of bouncing off of that being a freshman coming into this game and being able to excel early on, what was it that made you prepare to be able to play to your highest potential and leave in an environment like this? Just uh, seeing the situation, uh, our starting point guard day that he had got in early foul trouble, so I know I had to step up. Um, that's where I had to just be a player and know, and just trust the system. But uh, it's just whatever the team needs me to do, you know, and that's why I feel like that's what I did tonight. But if we didn't get the job done, so I know it's just like you just gotta keep going, keep working, and just learn from this. John, you finished with 14 points there in the second half. What were the adjustments that be, were made there in the second half to get you guys going? Obviously, they had 17 in the second half as well. Just talk about the second half adjustments for you guys there to get you guys going. Um, I don't necessarily think it's an adjustment. I think it's just as Coach West allows us to, to be aggressive and, you know, lets us play through a lot of mistakes. So they, they frees us up to just play our game and be aggressive. I think that's all it was. Um, we didn't really do anything different. You know, our mess like going into this game, we, we wanted to do what we do. Um, and you know, you obviously you have to make changes and adjustments as the game goes on, but we wanted to do what we do. And you know, Coach West always says, just play free, be aggressive. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, so that, I just credit it to that. Uh, we didn't really necessarily draw up anything different anymore. I do it a different way. Wes, well, uh, CMOS goes one for nine in the first half and doesn't take a shot in the second half. Were they were they forcing the offense through him? Was that was that kind of the game plan going in? What was what was kind of the big big reason for the struggles early on in that in that first half? Just not being rude. I, what do you mean forcing the offense through? Like, just was the was the game plan to, to have CMOS initiate the offense and, and take that many shots in the first half? I mean, no. I I, I think. We, we play pretty free, right? We run, we share it, we go side to side. Uh, you know, CMOS is a guy we, we think is really good in action, so he's going to be in lots of ball screens and dribble handoffs like, like other guys. So, And then he, we really believe in him being able to shoot the basketball. I mean, he's, he's proven at the highest level there. So he just had his opportunities. It wasn't his night, right? The, the hard thing, is that's going to happen. You're gonna have guys that have bad nights. I was really frustrated. The biggest frustration I had with CMOS is, you know, we got an out of bounds situation. Their most used out of bounds plays a box play where they bring Oliveri off of a stagger, and we got an out of bounds situation. And he, he, I'm telling him it's coming. We scouted the hell out of it. He's looking at me, nodding his head, and he lets Oliveri just come right off a stagger screen that he knows is coming and get separation for a three. That that was my most frustrating play with CMOS. But one for nine. Bad shooting nights, they happen in college basketball. The problem is you have that with Dan and CJ Frederick at the same time, and it's the, the combination. We need, we need those three guys to be players, and they're all capable, and they all kind of had a night like that tonight. But hey, listen, give Xavier credit. I mean, they, they played with energy. Now, they, they really made it difficult for CJ. We're trying to do more to get him involved offensively. They were on top of him, uh, you know, not basically top blocking into everything. And we made a little adjustment out of the timeout and ran a play for him to screen. Got over your dunk, 
but we, we, we need to have more stuff to take advantage of people guarding him like that. And as John said, I mean, I, as a coach, I'm going to look in the mirror. I got a lot of things I got to improve on. And if everybody in our locker room takes that kind of a approach and attitude, then we'll learn from this and get better. But uh, uh, the guys are going to have nights. I'm not worried about that. But uh, we, we can't have errors with focus and effort. We'll dismiss the players and take a few more questions for Coach. Yes. Coach, the, the primary thing that's you know going to be said outside of the building among the fan bases at the front right here, sorry, uh, is that this is the fifth straight time that Xavier's won in this rivalry. Do you feel any of that weight building, or or do you just see this as a one game type of thing that, that you didn't get the best of them? I mean, it's a rivalry game. It's local. 0-2 coming into it. As I'm coaching here, like, yeah, yeah, you want to win it. I mean, I, you know, like. That's not rocket science. Some people, times you go to coach speak. I mean, heck yeah, you want to win it. But does it mean that it turns into something that it's not? No. I mean, you want to win a game. You know, you're owing to it. You want to win it. We will win one. I mean, we will. I mean, I, I, it'll happen. Uh, but because you lose it, are you going to sit here and go down in the dumps or feel some external pressure? That no, that's not how it works. I mean, well, whether we won tonight or not, we're going to wake our butts up tomorrow, and we're going to work hard and get better. And we're going to have a lot of big games this year. You know, I, uh, and I'm not not doing the comparison thing, but I, Xavier probably feels pretty damn good tonight. I bet they didn't feel good the last couple of nights they played, right? It's, that's college basketball. Like, but they they had a tough stretch. They've learned from it. They played great tonight. They, they, they get a win in a big environment. It's going to be the same for everybody in college. The last time I checked, it was 1976 if somebody went undefeated. You're going to take it on the chin. I mean, I, I, you know, you're going to take it on the chin. It's big time. There's parity. Everybody can coach. Great players. I hate that we took it on the chin tonight. But, no, we're going to wake up tomorrow and get ready to, to play against Bryant, who's gone on the road and won it up Florida Atlantic already this year, who's top 25 in the country. And then we got Dayton on Saturday. Like, it just keeps coming. So, do I feel some? No, I feel pressure to prepare for Bryant. That's external pressure. And, Listen, our, our fan base is passionate, and they want it badly, and I love that about our fan base. I hope they're pissed that we lost five in a row and three since I've been. I hope they're pissed. Shoot, I, I'm pissed with them. But, no, there's no external pressure that's it, not there. We're going to get our butts ready to do it again next year, and we're going to keep coming. That's what we do. If we get knocked down, we're going to keep coming. And, and so, no, I don't, I don't feel that, but I want it really damn badly, as did our players tonight. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of opportunities this year to, to feel good. And if we learn from this and grow from this and keep working, we'll have some nights against great teams and great environments that we feel good too. We're capable of that. But I like this team. And I, I think our fan base that's been watching us play for the last couple of years is going to get excited about this team because the way they play, the way they compete, the talent, I think they can see that. The question is, what are we going to do with it? And, and I think we got a good group of kids in that locker room and high character. I, this team's going to be okay. I really believe that. One more. Wes, how encouraged were you by outscoring on 50 to 32 in the paint and coming out of halftime the way you did to get back to the game? Uh, uh, guys, I'm pissed. Are there some things I was, as, as I walked off the court, I said the first thing I said was I like my team a lot. And I'm going to get in the trenches with every team I coach. I like this team. I really do. I like the character of this team. I like the way this team works. I'm sorry to all our fans that we couldn't get over the hump tonight. It's been 20 some years, I think, since Cincinnati won over here. I want, I want to, I want to get over the hump there for a lot of reasons, but I like my team a lot. We'll learn from this. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach.